In this modern age, when you ask yourself, what server platform should I use? The default answer is no longer a simple Windows Server. There are tons of available options, from on-premises servers to cloud-based solutions and everything in between. But for those who want to go a standard bare metal and OS solution, there's always Linux. Nearly any Linux distribution can be made into a server. That doesn't, however, mean you should go with that idea. Why? There are certain distributions that simply make for better server platforms. Which ones? Let's take a look at the five I believe to be the best platforms to meet your small to mid-sized business needs. The only requirements for this are the operating systems must be open source and they must be Linux. Ubuntu Server is my go-to server distribution of choice. Why? In a word, simplicity. Ubuntu makes installing and configuring a server of nearly any type a task that can be handled by any IT admin. Once you have the operating system installed, getting the rest of the pieces in place is extremely easy. And for those who need support with your servers, you can always opt to go with Ubuntu Advantage. And although Ubuntu Server is a GUI-less platform, there are plenty of web-based GUIs that can be used. Or, if you like, you can even install a desktop environment to make interaction with the platform even easier. One benefit of using Ubuntu is that you don't have to stumble through SE Linux to get services running properly. Ubuntu Server is the beginner server distribution that can also serve the more advanced users equally well. And with NetPlan now in place, network configuration is easier than ever. CentOS 7 is the clear choice for so many admins. Why? Easy. CentOS is the best path to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, without having to pay a single penny for subscription fees. One issue that bumps CentOS to the top of most lists is security. With the addition of SE Linux, which can be a real pain to work with, CentOS is one of the more secure operating systems available. And with repository software that's tried and tested, you can be sure that nearly everything you install from the default repositories is secure. And if you prefer a GUI with your servers, CentOS 7 includes the option of installing a full-blown desktop environment. Speaking of installation, CentOS also includes easy installation of group packages with group install. So installing a complete web server is as simple as sudo yum group install web server. You may not know this, but Fedora isn't just a desktop distribution. That's right, Fedora also has a server-specific flavor of Linux. Fedora Server is a short lifecycle community-supported server operating system. The one thing you must know about Fedora Server is that it is geared towards seasoned administrators. Unlike Ubuntu, which is a distribution for any admin of any skill level, Fedora requires a certain level of experience to get the most out of the technology found within. In other words, new users need not apply. Fedora Server does, however, include one of the finest web GUI admin tools on the market, Cockpit. Cockpit makes administering the Fedora Server a breeze. Tasks like managing services become incredibly simple. Cockpit also allows you to manage resources and accounts, view logs, and install upgrade applications. Debian might not be your first choice for a server platform, but it should certainly be up there on the list. Why? Because it's Debian, the mother of all Ubuntu-based distributions. That's right, Ubuntu and all its derivatives are based on this distribution. What does that equate to? Stability. Debian is, without a doubt, one of the single most stable operating systems on the planet. Every package for Debian has been thoroughly tested before being released. Because of this, packages tend to not be the latest, greatest versions. And because Debian is slower to release than many distributions, you can be sure when it does finally release, it is rock solid. To make this distribution even more appealing, if you're familiar with Ubuntu, you'll feel right at home with Debian. And because Debian can be downloaded with one of the many different desktop environments, you'll find working on this distribution a point-and-click dream come true. You might be wondering why such an unfamiliar server distribution is on this list. ClearOS is as close to a drop-in, open-source replacement for Windows Small Business Server as you'll find. ClearOS offers three different versions. A free community edition, a home edition, and a business edition. Of the three, only the business edition includes paid support. 
but all three versions make for an outstanding small business server. Once installed, ClearOS includes a web-based GUI that allows you to install collections of apps by function or by category, so you can get the necessary bits and pieces up and running quickly. Available apps include the likes of Directory Server, MS AD Connector, Custom Firewall, DHCP Server, DMZ, DNS Server, OpenVPN, Antivirus, Radius Server, Web Access Control, Own Cloud, Dropbox Sync, and much more. Many of the available apps are free, but some do have an associated cost. And there you have it. Five outstanding Linux server distributions, all of which are free, open source, and ready to take your small or mid-sized business to the next level. Give one of these flavors of Linux a try and see if it doesn't meet or exceed your needs.